All right, here we go. April 4th, uh, Lure Lunacy semi-final day. I found me some fishing holes uh, that are open. And it takes a little walk, but uh, I'm gonna do her. And let's see if we can get anything. I will keep you posted. on the board that only took about maybe third cast or so not a monster but hey that's a good sign all right Well, I don't know if they're getting any bigger or not, but another fish. Let that one sink a little bit. Right, red eye shad coming through so far. Red eye shad. I don't think they're getting any bigger though. Keep keep casting. Got one up here. All right, I jumped around a little bit here. To a couple different lures. Oh, that one got him on top of the head. This one is a, a bomber flat A, a baby bass pattern. So change it up a little bit. I had that one follow on a DT10, but uh, then I gave up on it. So just trying to gamble here on different lures and see what works. Another one here on that flat A. Hit a little bit harder, but I don't think it's any bigger. Nope, just kind of foul hook makes it feel funny. That's all right, getting bit. Jig and pig. Jig and pig comes through. About the second cast. get no bigger but hey I don't care I'm just glad to be catching fish and on one of the final four baits to boot first cast on the new lake I don't think he's very big but hey it's been a while since I caught one I got I don't know maybe half a dozen seven on that other lake but uh, red eye shed comes through again folks I tell you early season worth a try all right this is fun here it's about 525 uh, back on a good body of water here I'm gonna start out with the red eye shed and see what we can do um, yeah this is interesting too because this was the spot last year that made my uh, blooper reel I the, the weeds you can see here behind me you know they're pretty clear but in the uh, in the summertime and, and into the fall when I was fishing here last year oh my gosh they get so high and uh, every every back cast you're in danger of snagging them and got a huge backlash on a couple of those blooper tapes oh, I knew that was going to happen the weeds are too high behind me there's what happens when you do that Slow her down a little bit with the jig. Let's see, I may have maybe, I don't know, an hour and a half or so left, but let's see. <laughs> that one had it for a little while. He wasn't particularly aggressive. I wasn't quite sure he was there. 
And he was, and there he is. I don't know. Does that pork make him hold on to it longer? That might have been the key there. Help me out instead of fishing plastic. I don't know. All right, earlier there at one point uh, in, in one of the victories of the Blue Glimmer here, I mentioned uh, bringing it back. Um, I had some skirts, and uh, so I got one here, brought it with me. So let's go ahead and go for it. And uh, we're going to have us Blue Glimmer back in action here. And I got a spot coming up here around the corner where I might just be able to test it out. All right, I know the Blue Glimmer is going to be back. Um, so I got a new skirt on here on this old battered blade. Um, I, I think uh, our battered head and the blades have got rust on them a little bit, stuff like that. So one of the many reasons I'm not a pro bass fisherman, but I suppose many of you can relate more to that than... And being a pro bass fisherman, um, I saw a post the other day too on Twitter, I think it was, where they ask a trailer on a spinner bait or no trailer. I'm a trailer guy. I don't know. I just like the way it bulks it up, uh, gives a little more action. So, just a, a per personal preference. So, let's see what happens. <laughs> ah, yes. Stay on there. How about that? Blue Glimmer. We got it done. Same thing. Still not big, but hey, it ain't all about that. Cool. Slowly run the Blue Glimmer through here and see what happens. Kind of seen him before I felt him. Blue glimmer comes through. Not a monster, but hey, it worked. Hmm. Let him go back and grow up and get bigger. But hey, blue glimmer is getting it done all these years later. All these decades later. Stop here. And that's what's fun about it fishing some of these strip mine areas so many different potholes you know if uh, if something ain't cooperating in one you just pack up and head to another one that is it 445 Had a bump, had a hit, but did not get him. Pork twisted on me, got ripped up. I've actually got that on the upside down. I don't know if I can get that out of there to turn it around or not. No, I got it on there right. I got it on there right. <sighs> get down there by a little structure where you can get fish, something. That's with it. Oh, yep. Haven't seen him yet. Feels decent. He's better than what I've been catching, I know that. He's over by that tree. There ain't much structure in here other than just drop-offs. But yeah, he'll be, be decent if I can get him in here. Come here, buddy. All right, all right, all right. Jig and pig, early season. Yeah, that one's better than the rest. Not a giant, but uh, yeah, he's right by that branches of that tree, right where he's supposed to be. Cool. 
Well, that bass is right where he's supposed to be, right exactly where I threw that one. Right by that bush, so we'll see if he's got any company. That one ended up being 112, 15 inches, so it was a nice fish. Easily the biggest one of the day, the only one I've caught over 12 inches so far. The rough side, it was a little bit of a long distance cast here, so sometimes it's hard to hard to get a feel on the bite for sure, and then you're never certain when you set the hook if you've got enough to get it get them or not, but that one worked. 